Another question that I've had this week looks at whether or not cardiac output increases in a trained athlete compared to an untrained athlete or if it decreases. Apparently someone has seen and I went and looked and I actually found it as well where I found a website that said the cardiac output decreases in a trained athlete uh, and the reason that they give for that they say that your cardiac output they're talking about at rest when they're talking about this that at rest your cardiac output is lower for a trained athlete compared to an untrained athlete and there are reasons to kind of support that in physiologically if you think of there's the same demand I guess in one sense for oxygen now technically that's not quite true because in an elite athlete they actually have a greater demand at rest for oxygen because they burn more calories at rest but physiologically you can see that if you need the same if, if you presume you need the same you've got a greater hemoglobin to carry it you've got uh, a greater saturation rate of your blood you've got a larger stroke volume and so your heart rate is lower right at rest because it doesn't need to beat as fast to push the same amount of blood around to get to your body and so if you presume you need the same amount of oxygen as you do trained or untrained you would expect to trains trained athletes cardiac output the amount of blood they're pumping out at rest to be a bit lower than someone who is untrained they might need to pump around more blood to get the same kind of oxygen traveling around their body now when it comes to stage 6 PDHP and we're looking at cardiac output the elite athletes cardiac output at any given intensity I guess uh, so at any at any heart rate level Let, let's go with that so if a elite athlete's heart is beating at 80 beats per minute compared to an untrained athlete then their cardiac output is way higher than the untrained athlete because they have a larger stroke volume and therefore they're pumping out more blood per contraction and at the same number of beats per minute that's going to be there's a lot more blood going around to their body and they can train then at higher intensities at that heart rate and that's why we actually when we're talking about whether or not cardiac output goes up or down we're talking about it for an elite athlete within training within performance okay it's all about how things affect performance and so for performance the elite athletes cardiac output goes up and that's what allows them to train at higher intensities to perform at higher intensities for longer and without needing the rest compared to the untrained athlete so the cardiac output goes up and I actually found some resources you'll see if you come to the website there's a link underneath the video here and you can see it'll take you to a site that is a research article that actually says that even at rest the cardiac output of elite athletes is actually higher than an untrained athlete even at rest even when they're not doing anything and that is because an elite athlete burns more calories at rest than someone who is untrained just at rest their body needs more energy and so they need more oxygen and they need the blood to be going around and so the cardiac output is actually higher even though they have a low blood resting heart rate they're still pushing around more blood and more or more oxygen at least even if it's not more blood definitely more oxygen uh, but it is more blood because it's a larger cardiac output so a larger cardiac output means more blood even at rest for the elite athletes uh, the website that I did find that said that cardiac output decreases had no references anywhere in it it was not a research article it was just a blog page and so I highly we recommend you stay with the idea that cardiac output increases in elite athletes compared to untrained athletes. So that is a really key difference to remember.